Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is truly worthy of all the praise and all the glory, for this is the day that the Lord has made. And we are rejoicing and we are glad to be here one more time. One more time we can come together to give God praise. One more time we can come together and magnify his name. One more time we can clap our hands together. We can lift our voice together. We can do our dance together. As a body of believers, oh God, we thank you, oh God, for the chance. And we come before you now as humbly as we know how. Of course, to tell you thank you. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for your ways that you have made, the doors that you have opened. We thank you for all the things that you do for us, oh God. We ask that you bless us even in this place. Bless us in this worship service, oh God. Bless us to be able to witness someone make their life uh, yours, oh God, and give their life to you. Oh God, we ask that you be with us even in our midst, oh God, that we are used as willing vessels to be used of you, oh God. We are available to you. And we've taken up this time to come together and give your name all praise and glory, oh God. Bless Pastor Davis, oh God, and strengthen him again for another word that he will give today. Bless the singers and everyone that takes part in ministry on this morning. Oh God, you get the glory out of everything we do. Less of me and more of you is what we need. And we, we need you never like never before. And we give your name all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. We serve a great God, and he's great. Let's give me praise. Come on, clap those hands. He's worthy of it. Come on, let's sing it quiet.
led you to praise him. Come on, let's do it together right here. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, our God is worthy to be praised. As Jesus entered to the city, they entered into praise. Blessed be the name that come with the name of the Lord. Somebody ought to shout, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Praise Him. And that's what we're doing. It is Palm Sunday weekend. Come on, let's give God some praise in the house. Judge, good to see you. Good to see each of you as we come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And with that being said, it's prayer time. And we come and gather around the altar. If you want to come, you want to kneel at the altar, stand at the altar. We come now. It's prayer time. Somebody might say that I want to come and stand in the gap for someone else. That's fine too. Because God can meet us even during this time of prayer. We pray for our world, our neighborhood, family, finances. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too difficult. The Bible says, cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. If somebody needs a miracle in your family, and whatever it is, God is able. He's a miracle-working God. He's, a, he's able to move. He's able to change. He's a healer. And we've come to you, God, in faith, trusting you every step of the way. God is able. I said, God is able. God is able. Yes, Reverend Althuri, I know you're going to ready to take the children into our children's worship, but before you go, I want you to come and seal these prayers around this altar. And we lift up concerns in our prayer vessel because God can move. And we're praying in this service for someone to get saved, someone to give their life to the Lord. And even after we finish this prayer, if you want to join church now, you can. You, you don't have to wait till later. By later, you could be an old member. Somebody that didn't get that. You, you can join now, and you can welcome somebody else in later as a veteran. Come on, Reverend Barnett, as we pray for those around this altar as well as those in our prayer, concerns in our prayer vessel. Oh, gracious Father, Lord, we come before you, God, as humble as we know how. Lord, we thank you, God, for everything before we ask you, Lord, for anything. Lord, we ask that you forgive us of our sins, those that we know about, those that we don't know about, God. Lord, we come before you this day, God, thanking you, first of all, for the Son, Jesus Christ, that died on the cross for our sin so that, that we could have a relationship with you. It is because of his blood on that cross that we can come back to you and come boldly to this throne this morning, asking that you touch our hearts and our minds and our lives. Whatever we stand in need of, God, we ask that you minister to those needs right now in the name of Jesus. We ask that you bless those prayers that are in that prayer, prayer vessel, God. We ask that you meet all the needs of the sick as well as the shut-in, God. We are all your people. Lord, we thank you, God, for our pastor, who is the shepherd of this flock, God, that pours out his heart day in and day out, multiple services throughout the week, God, knowing that you are able to give him strength, God, 
where he's weak and build him up where he's torn down. Lord, we ask that you touch each in person that is on the way. Now, understand that there's an accident or something on the beltway that's causing traveling mercies for some that are trying to get to service, God. We ask, God, that you open things up for them, God, so that they can get here safely. God, we know that there are hearts and minds that are ready to walk down the aisle and say, what must I do to be saved? We thank you, God, because you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask, think, or imagine. And to, for that, we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. All these blessings we ask in the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Everybody Grandma, say, man. God. But if you want to come tonight with our church, give your life to Christ. Young child is coming, giving your life to Christ. Come on right now. One. Young Miss Brown is coming. Come on, celebrate Highland Park. This young lady, as she comes and gives her life to Jesus. Others who want to come. Come on. We have another young man who's coming. Another young man who's coming. Another young man who's coming. Grab the ball for attention. Somebody else who wants to come. You don't have to wait. You can come right now. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Our guardian, just come on down as well with this young man. He's able. He's able. Yes. 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 Come on, church, repeat after me and let's declare it. Oh. Are you feeling it right now? Oh. Another young lady is coming right now. Jesus. Come on, let's celebrate for oh. me. You say beautiful. Oh. Somebody else who wants to come.
And do know that if you, if you miss that opportunity, you still haven't missed because we would love to have you as a part of our family. Next Sunday morning at 6.30, we'll be in the pool baptizing, and we're looking forward to those candidates who are going to be ready to join us in Easter Sunday morning. Amen. We are going to be in the pool baptizing, and certainly we thank God for each of you. If you are a first-time, first-time guest, and you're with us, won't you stand if you're here for the first time? If you're here for the first time, you can stand. We want to welcome you with the joy of the Lord. And even if you're a returning guest, we are delighted, excited to have you back with us. And some of you, 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 you already thinking about becoming a part of our church, so you don't need to act like you a visitor. Amen. So we thank God for that. We thank God for each and every one of you. And we're believing by faith God doing miraculous things in our lives. And, with, and this Palm Sunday, you'll get your palms today as we'll exit worship. And we certainly thank God for that. But with all that being said, this is a church we don't play around. It's preaching time. And we're getting ready for the word of God. Our singers are going to bless us in their own way. And then, of course, we lift up the name of Jesus on this wonderful Sunday that we lift up the name of the Lord and already believing by faith. Those are you, children who are coming in want to be a part of our children's worship, just ask any usher. They can point you in that direction as well. At this time, our singers will bless us in their own way. simple worship song to the Lord. I'm sure you've heard it at some point in your life. We're going to sing it together as one big body of believers. Let's sing it together. Hallelujah.
this wonderful moment of worship. And may the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Holy Spirit, have your way and allow more of you to be seen and heard and less of me. Hide me behind the cross as this week that we call holy we thank God for every message, every prayer, and all that will happen leading to Calvary's cross on Friday and resurrection next weekend. Think with my mind, speak with my voice, and use me to your glory so that men, women, boys, and girls might come running saying, what must I do? To be saved. Lord, we thank you in advance for what you're about to do in this space of time. And we give you the glory, we give you the honor, and we give you the praise. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Come on, let's clap those hands together. We stand, if we can, as we honor the word of the Lord from the 21st chapter of the gospel according to St. Matthew is where we turn our spotlight in this worship experience. Chapter 21, beginning at verse 1. Jesus' triumphant entry. New Living Translation says, As Jesus and the disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to the town of Bethphage on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of them on ahead. Go into the village over there, he said. And as soon as you enter it, you will see a donkey tied there with its colt beside it. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone asks what you are doing, just say, the Lord needs them. And he will immediately let you take them. This took place to fulfill the prophecy that said, Tell the people of Jerusalem, look, your king is coming to you. He is humble and riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. The two disciples did as Jesus commanded. They brought the donkey and the colt to him and threw their garments over the colt and said and sat on it. Most of the crowd spread their garments on the road ahead of him, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Jesus was in the center of the procession. The people all around him were shouting, Praise God for the Son of David. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered. Who is this, they asked. And the crowds replied, it's Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Thus far, the words of God. You may go to your seats around the building. We come back in this worship experience to that fifth verse. Tell the people of Jerusalem, Look, your king is coming to you. He is humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. The earlier service, I put emphasis on the A clause, your king is coming. This service, I want to look at the B clause, he is humble riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. I want to talk in this setting in a position to be blessed. In a position. Come on, all y'all coming in. Come on, come on, come on. We wait, we're waiting for y'all. Amen. We couldn't get rolling really strong till y'all got here. Amen in a position to be blessed. That's ultimately where we want to be. We want to position ourselves to be blessed by God. The key part of this message is the humility of Jesus. He's, he's humble. Humble is the way. Arrogance is a problem. When you think that you have all the answers, that's a difficult place to be. But Jesus comes in a humble way. The reality of it is Jesus had already said that no man takes my life. I've got to lay it down. And Jesus lays his life down so that we can stand up in a position to be blessed. What kind of positioning are you doing? There's our prayer position, our praise position. Again, our evangelistic position. 
But you want to position yourself to be blessed by God. There are three things we're going to look at in this service. One, Jesus does not try to impress others. Some people, as soon as you meet them, they want to impress you. They want to impress you with their uh, educational and academic achievements. They want, to pres they want to impress you that they are a certain grade in the government. Help me, somebody. They want to impress you by who they are related to. And all of these kinds of issues. But at the end of the day, we need not to impress people, but to please God. Help me, somebody. We want to please God. And pleasing God might not be that impressive to you. But I'm not worried about being impressive to you. Because at the end of the day, I want God to look at me, Reverend McNeil, and say, well done, my good and faithful servants. So number one, Jesus does not come, does not try to impress us. The second thing, Jesus can handle the most difficult situations. I believe I got some witnesses in this room. You've had a difficult situation, but what did you do? You called on the name of Jesus. And Jesus can show up, and any time he shows up, he will always show out. So the reality of it is that how difficult cancer, diabetes, dialysis, whatever it is, Jesus can handle it. Deacon Smith is on the front row, and he's been on dialysis for how many years, Deacon Smith? 25 years. And I know that every time you go in, you go in with prayer because he can handle the most difficult situations. The third thing we're going to talk about in this service Seek to follow Jesus' directions. Not trying, to, not trying to come up with my own agenda. Even when we don't understand it, I still want to follow. I want to follow the directions of Jesus. Because Jesus knows where, where we're going. And he knows what will happen once we yield and submit to him. Once we yield and submit to him, he can direct our paths, order our steps in the Lord. All of those, Terry, are things we got to do. And so I, I want to be in a position to be blessed. You're in worship. And the Bible says to forsake not the assembly. It's a good position. Uh, just to be in the house of God and to make your way. I'm, it's no, I'm not knocking anybody who's watching online, but it's a wonderful thing to get in position. You got in position to watch online. But I thank God for those of you who are in the house of God because we wanted to get, we want to be in a position to be blessed. Whenever you get ready to start passing out blessings, I want to be available. I want, I want to be available. I want to be available. If the, if, the, if the pastor decides to give out a Mercedes, come on, somebody. I want to be present. If, 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 if this sanctuary started to rain $100 bills, I want to be in position. But you know that but, but the, the sanctuary is raining. And it's raining blessings right now. Can you see it? I see him. I see him. I, I feel God showering us with blessings. Not something I can take to the bank, but I got something in my heart. And I want to make sure I'm in a position to be blessed. Here it is in this passage. That Jesus, number one, does not try to impress people. He's riding in on, on a donkey. I told the earlier service that 
the symbolism of him riding in on a donkey is Jesus riding a hoopty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know, you know, you know, some of us, we, we've been in hoopty. Way back if you ever drove a hoopty. Come on, somebody. Somebody might be driving one right now, but I, I want you to know your blessing is on the way. It's on the way. And wh wherever I'm dealing with right now, I'm only dealing with it because it's temporary. Because God's getting ready to open up. He's getting ready to do something miraculous. My God, you can already start shouting right now just on the expectation of what God's going to do. Jesus is humble. He's humble, riding on a donkey, right? I remember, I remember when I was younger days, I'd be going to parties. Some of y'all remember, you went to parties. Why are, you looking at, why are you looking at me funny like you never went to a party? We used to go to parties, and sometimes we, we, we had a Volkswagen, and we, we could have been on Guinness, Guinness World Records because we were, able to, we were able to put, oh, how many we put in that Volkswagen? Well, I think we put seven of us in there one time. In a Volkswagen Beetle. Seven of us. We jammed in there on our way to a party. Now, when we went to the party, we parked the car around the corner. And, and when we went in, we went in delayed. Two of y'all go. Give them some time. Get another three of us go. Give them some time. Because we didn't want, we didn't want, we didn't bring, want to bring any attention to how we arrived. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, I, I, I'm trying to paint the picture for you. Jesus is riding in, and they're waving palm branches, and he didn't ride the donkey in private, but he's riding the donkey in public. See, when you know who you are, that's why, we, that's why, that's why some of us, we're not dressing up next week. When you know who you are, you don't have to wear it on, the, on your outside. There's got to be something going on on your inside. He's humble. He's riding on a donkey. And he's riding on a donkey. Now, now notice, he's the first person to ride the donkey. And some, you know, every, every now and then, uh, I would look on television, you know, when they have the Wide, riding those those wild broncos and bulls and and they get all of them and they ride for the first time. Look at what Je Jesus is getting on a mule. I was getting ready to say something else. He was getting on a mule and the mule has been calmed down. If Jesus can calm a mule, he can calm you down. I, I, want, I, want, I want Jesus to direct me. Not, see, when you're directing yourself, that's a, that's a bad thing to do. But when I allow tank Jesus to direct me, then you can realize there's a sense of being relaxed. The, the donkey did not feel the need to buck Jesus off. Come on, somebody. See, when you got a blessing on your back, you don't, no, you don't want to shake the blessing off. You want to allow the blessing to ride. You want to allow the blessing to saturate your spirit. So even a donkey's got sense. Donkey's got more sense than people. He, let me, here, here, Jesus is trying to bless you and you try to, and you being resistant and bullish. And, but Jesus is able to get on that donkey for the first time. And the donkey was able to ride, ride, walking in. Because you have to realize that the donkey was was given uh, the other uh, the other week they had the Academy Awards and and one of the awards is it's supporting actors and actresses supporting you you're not the main one but you in the movie and, and since you in the movie then then and then at the end of the day when they when they got the big picture everybody who was in the movie was able to go up on the stage. This is a critical moment, and the donkey 
has gotten a prime spot. Come on. Uh, who would have thought? Who would have thought a donkey, not a camel, not Reverend Joe Washington, not a horse, but a donkey? He's riding, riding, I'm riding Jesus. I'm, I've been given the privilege. And you know, that's what God, that's what God wants to do. He wants to take folk who we don't necessarily look, we're not looking. We, nobody was looking for Jesus on a donkey. Just like nobody was looking for Jesus in, in, in the belly of Mary. See, I'm tying some pictures in. I'm tying. Here, here it is that here this virgin girl, she was not some queenly person, but Mary. And Jesus said, God said, I'm going to bring the virgin birth through Mary. And Joseph, Joseph, the earthly father. And matter of fact, they were not, they were not the high sophisticated folk because when they were looking for a place to stay, there was no room for them. But look at what Jesus does. He's able to use Mary just like he's able to use us. Well, the other message I was preaching last night, and I was talking about how far African Americans have been able to come in spite of opposition, in spite of, in spite of last hired first five, in spite of, when perfect persons are able to look at us and not give us a position because of the color of our skin. But yet God is still able to move. I was I was reading the other day, and I I didn't I didn't know it because some of y'all at the end of the day today you're gonna use your dishwasher, and at the and when you finish with your dishwasher and put your dishes in, you're gonna you're gonna get some detergent, and many of you are gonna use Cascade. Did you know Cascade was was created by an African American? Uh, African American did that. So when you when you when you getting your dishes clean. Come on, somebody. We still in the bid. I, I don't care. You don't have to give us any credit, but I'm thanking God that God already knows. Jesus is humble, riding on a donkey, and he's not trying to impress people, simply trying to please God. Here's the second thing I want to say to you. Jesus can handle the most difficult situation. Whatever the situation is, Jesus can handle it. Look at what he says. He says, it says, Jesus says, uh, verse number two, go into the village over there, he said, and as soon as you enter, you will see a donkey. Jesus is already telling them what they're going to see. The donkey's going to be tied. There's going to be a coat next to it. Untie them, bring them to me. And if anyone asks what you're doing, just say the Lord needs them, and he will immediately let you take them. Now, don't try this at home. Don't you go, the Lord has need of this. No, no, no. They were following direction. Now, now, now in one of the other gospels, it says that they met some opposition. Because the opposition was not excited about what was going on because they didn't know. They had not had a talk with Jesus. But Jesus said, I'm going, I want you to go there and whatever you face, you just say the Lord needs them. In other words, whatever you're going to face in life, call on the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? Somebody's had to deal with that You've had some difficult people you had to work with and you had to call on the Lord. You told them that you had to go to the bathroom. You told them, I need to get a glass of water. But the truth of the matter was, you need to have a little talk with Jesus. And then when you came back, you came back with a different spirit, a different energy. So Jesus, Jesus is able to ride on a wild animal for the first time. And this, this, this mule does not turn into a bucking bronco. And then they said, I want you to go get them, untie them, bring them to me. Untie them, bring them to me. 
Now, the other thing is, is that when Jesus told them, now, you, these are wild animals. I, I, our family, we grew up, we, we had a dog, and he was supposedly trained. Supposedly. And, and we would try to walk him. He, he was a German shepherd, and we would try to walk him. And in the middle of the walk, he would decide he wasn't walking. And he always knew how to break free from us. He always knew how to break free. And, 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 he, and we would be walking him, and then he, he put his paw over the, the leash. And then you'd be... <laughs> and then finally, and then, and then if he growled at you, you then you know, And you let him go. And, and basically, all our dog really wanted... He loved a car ride. And so we would go tell our dad. We'd say, Dad, Rusty's loose. He said. And he knew what that meant. He would get in his car, and we would find Rusty running through the community, and we would open the door, and Rusty would run up and jump right in the back seat. <laughs> he loved a car ride. He'd ride, he would get loose just so he could get a car ride. Some of y'all got some dogs like that. Just, I just want to ride. Here it is. Jesus is able to lead wild animals. Wild animals. Jesus, and, and matter of fact, matter of fact, the, the disciples were able to do it because they were operating in the name of Jesus. And when you're operating in the name of Jesus, you're going to realize you can do things you never thought you could do. Just because you're operating in his name. Just because I'm operating in his name, now I'm able to do things I never saw myself doing. Never saw it happening. I want to be in a position to be blessed. Don't you want to be blessed? Nobody wants to be cursed. We want to be blessed by God. We want God to bless us. We want God to guide us. We want God to guard us. I'm guiding you and I'm guarding you and no matter how difficult, even though Jesus said, if you see a problem, all you've got to do is tell them, I sent you. I sent you. I, I, I sent you into this situation. As, as, a, as a pastor, every, every, over, over the course of years, I've not always said things that have made me popular. But the Lord has sent me to do it. And, it, and sometimes you've got to say things to people that make them feel a little uncomfortable so that they can draw closer to the Lord. That's what God wants. And God does not want me to come up here half scared. Oh, oh I want to, oh, I want to, I want to offend. You're going to offend somebody because you got to know Satan can slip in too. And you need to offend Satan. Do I have a witness in here? That's why you got to keep on lifting up the name of Jesus because we know this word and no matter how difficult the situation might be, God is able. The third thing I need to say, seek to follow Jesus' directions. Now that's real simple, Tammy. To, to, to follow Jesus' direction, that, that sounds simple. But what many of us want to do, we want to follow ourselves. Or we're following somebody else who's not following Jesus. Here it is. The verses of scripture are very clear. Two, two disciples did as Jesus commanded. They brought the donkey and colt to him, threw their garments over the colt, and he sat on it. Most of the crowd is spreading their garments. Now, see, the disciples in verse number 7, they end, up, they end up throwing their garments 
over the cult. And the people are now following their example. And they throw their garments on the road. I want you to get this now. They are following an example. The disciples threw their garments over the cult. And the people said, if y'all throwing your garments off, we're going to start throwing our garments off too. Because we want to make sure, because something obviously special, different, unique is about to happen. That's Palm Sunday. That's, that's the celebration. Garments are being spread. They're cutting branches from the tree. And then there's a procession. And Jesus, verse number nine, is in the center of the procession. And all the people shouting, praise God for the son of David. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. Hosanna. Hallelujah. I was I, I, about about once every couple of weeks. I preached to a group in Pakistan, and I, this past Thursday, I did a early morning a message. And well, it was early morning for me because it's seven o'clock a.m. here, it's five o'clock p.m. there, and I was I was preaching to the people in Pakistan, and and they they had their own language, and I have an interpreter, but one word that we can both say and everyone understands is the word hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pakistan is basically a Hindu, Hindu and Islamic country. And so, and so they pack into a house to worship. Packed into a house to worship God. Here we are, we got this nice spacious church plenty of good room. They are packed in the floor. No chairs. Everybody's sitting on the floor, but they're praising God. <laughs> Hallelujah. They are positioning themselves to be blessed. It says that he's blessings in the name of the one who comes in the name of the Lord. I'm praising God. The people are shouting. I, I, that's okay. That's okay if you don't shout. That's okay. You don't have to shout. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all he's done for me, my soul got to cry out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Do I have some saved people? I'm saved. I'm washed in the blood. I was once spiritually blind, but now I can see. Do I have some folk who don't mind praising God? I'm in a position. I don't need a rock crying out for me. I can cry out for myself. I, I, I love the Lord. He heard my cry, pitied my every groan. I'll run on. A little while longer. See what the end is going to be. Do you love him? Has God been good to you? That's why we're worshiping him. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the saints, I, 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 I will praise his name. Come on, Highland Park. We got to praise him. We got to praise him. Cause every time I turn around, he keeps on and on and on blessing me. I want to make sure I am in position. Hallelujah. And today can be your day that you get into position to be blessed by God. Somebody's in this house today and God has you here not by accident but because of his divine purpose. Every head is bowed, every eye is closed, every believer is praying. And if there's anybody in this house today, 
and you've never given your life to Jesus, thank God for those who've already made that move earlier in the service. But now is your time. We're not trying to embarrass you, but if you're in this house right now and you know you need to be born again, you need to give your life to Christ. Every head is bowed, every eye is closed, every believer is praying. But if that's you and I'm talking to you right now, I'm not looking, but God is, I want you to put your hand in the air right now. My brother, my sister, put it up, put it up. I'm not looking, put it back down. You know you need a church home. And we would love for Highland Park to be that church home. Believers, I need your eyes to be closed and for you to be in prayer. But if that's you, put your hand in the air right now. Put it back down. If you can honestly say, I have drifted away and I really need to get back. I need to get back. Nobody's looking. But if, I need, if, but if that's you, put your hand in the air right now. Put it back down. Oh, God, I pray now for every hand that went in the air. And I'm praying, dear God, that nothing would get in the way of decisions, that nothing would stop them from moving from where they are to where they need to be. We're not trying to trick them in. We're trying to truth them in. And the truth is, Jesus is the way. And I'm believing by faith. For a harvest of souls, they put their hands up. They told the devil, symbolically, hands off. Hands off my present. Hands off my Easter. Hands off my Holy Week. I'm, I'm, I'm saturating this atmosphere. And I'm lifting my brothers and sisters and in faith and in prayer right now. Give them the courage to, to not just come to the brink of a breakthrough, but to come all the way. Not to come to the edge, but come all the way through. And I ask now, Lord, your blessings upon these souls who will move for you today. We love you, Jesus. And I pray now for every believer. Because even though we're believers, does not mean we don't go through challenges. We might be going through something right now. Lord, I'm praying for marriages and, um, and, and singles and bereaved persons and health issues and whatever it is. I'm standing with you in prayer in the name of Jesus. The Lord needs you. The late Lord has a work for you to do. And we give you the glory. We give you the honor. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's clap those hands together. Now, I want those of you who, while our heads were bowed and our eyes were closed, and we were praying for you, but your hand was in the air because you know you need to make, make a move for Jesus. You already made the first move, and we didn't, we didn't, we didn't see it, but God saw it. But I want to ask every one of you who have perhaps had your hand in the air, I want you to gather your things and come meet me at the altar right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Where are you? I see you moving. Come on, who else? Who else? My hand was in the air. And you know I'm not trying to embarrass you. I don't even know, I don't even know where your hand was in the air. I don't even know. But God does. But God does. But God does. Won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? Come on, my friend. Come on, my friend. Ushers, why y'all watching them? Y'all should be walking them down. Come on, come on, my friend. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Who else? Who? This is your day, man. You ought to be celebrating Highland Park. We got some more coming. We got some more coming. We got some more coming. Others who want to come, come on right now. Come on right now. Come on right now. Come on, walk out, step out, step around. Don't let anybody block your blessing. You can come. We got ushers ready to meet you halfway. You don't have to walk the whole way by yourself, but you can walk this way. Jesus can do something miraculous in your life. 
Somebody said, I'm, I'm a little afraid. I'm a little afraid. Don't be afraid because God has spoken. Here, here they come. Here, here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Come on, come on. You good. You good. You good. You good. We glad to have you. Come on, Highland Park. Y'all celebrating? Why y'all looking? The angels are rejoicing and so are we. Others who want to come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get, get on. Get on in. You can feel Jesus knocking at the door. It's a great day for you to say yes to the Lord. It's a great day. It's a great day. It, you know somebody you came in here with. You know they need to walk. And you're willing to walk with them. Say, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's let's move. Let's move right now. Come on, singers. Put some words in there. Everybody stand. That's your signal. That's your signal. Come on. Come right now. Come right now. What? With his arms. With his arms open wide. Yes. He's willing. He is willing. To what? To save your soul. To save your soul. Let's clap our hands for those who've decided you can go to your seats. But let me say to you, even if you didn't come, and you know you should have come, let me just say to you, this is a great week when you think about the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus. And I, I was getting ready to stop, but I'm just, the Holy Spirit said, no, no, don't just stop just yet. There might still be yet another person or two or three. And you want to make, and you, you've been, you, you've been getting ready. You've been, you even, you're sweating now trying to stay in your seat. You sweat. And the Bible says to quench not the spirit. The Lord is calling you. So today can be your day to step out on your blessings. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your week has looked like. I don't know what you're going through. But I do know this. God loves you. He has a plan for you. And no matter how hard your life might be right now, why go through a life hard when you could accept Jesus and things could get easier? It's, it's, your, it's, your, it's your decision. But if that's you, and I know it's getting ready to stop, I was getting ready to stop, but if you just feel so led to stand up right now, friend, and say, I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. The angels are rejoicing. So are we. Thank you, sir. So here's, here come a couple more. Here comes some more. Here comes some more. Here we go. 
getting ready to go. I was getting ready to go, but they went. I was just getting ready to go, but they went. Hey, we, we got room for you. You can come too. You can come too. Wow. Look at God. 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 Some of y'all don't know. They've been joining church right from the Altar call when we started this service. And they still come. Oh, yeah. My God. Well, with that, it's offering time. Come on, we're going to praise God for what he's done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do. Come on, Usher, as we get ready. Of course, we are church believes in the tenth off the top, the tithe, and then the offering, whether 366 or whatever additional gifts we bring. If you want an envelope to give with, just put your hand up so that you can get credit. I know tax day is coming. This is this is for taxes 2020 next year, but it's next year. You can't put this on this year's tax return. It's for next year's tax return. Amen. But if you want to give, and of course you want to scan the QR code, you can do that. Give LaFi Cash App. And of course we thank God. Here's another hand right there, Sister Ellaby, right up down this aisle. Right in front of you, Renee. Right in front of you. Right here. Right here. Amen. Right in front of you. All right. Amen. There's another hand over there. Sister Ford, God bless you. Amen. 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 Everybody who wants to give, we want to make sure they have an opportunity to do that. Amen. We know every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord, and it is a blessing, a blessing to give. You can get your envelope, fill it up, fill it out, and we thank God for that, and thank God for each and every one of you. We don't we we want to bring hilarious gifts, cheerful gifts. Heard a preacher last week. I was preaching in Harlem, New York. He said, if you angry about giving, keep it. <laughs> he said, keep it. Keep it. We don't, we don't need your angry money. Amen. But I thank God that we can come in a joyful way and give as unto the Lord. If you have your gift, your giving apparatus, also they were doing in Harlem, they said, we want you to march whether you're giving electronically or not. They were marching with their phones and tapping the basket. I'm not going to make y'all do that. But anyway, if you want to, you can. But if you want to lift that gifting apparatus, dear God, we thank you for the opportunity to give, the blessing to give. Now bless both gift and giver. In Jesus' name, amen. You want to bring it, give it to a designated walker. Then we're going to hear highlights from the hill, and we're ready to go. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, singers. What they shouted, we can say it together. Come on, let's say it right here. Hosanna. Hosanna. I love you. I love you. you are the joy of my heart. You are the strength of my Worthy of all of the 
service here at the park. I'm Mr. Sussman Knight. And I'm McCall McKnight. And, and we're, we're the Connections, Connections team. team. Here to bring you this week's Hollis from the Hill. Highland Park is a leader in health and fitness in the faith-based community. And we are excited to host our annual Faith Strong 5K for 2024 at the Watkins Regional Park on Saturday, May 18th. Interested in preparing for the Faith Strong 5K? The Power Fit team will meet up monthly to walk. Walkers who are interested, please email 5k at fbhp.org. Get ready, Highland Park, to fuse faith and fitness to the glory of God. Pastor Davis and the Highland Park Church family and friends congratulate our first and second quarters 2023-2024 Honor Roll Special Achievement recipients. Eden Brooke Broussard, Grayson Broussard, Zoranelle Broussard, Allison Brown, Blake Brown, Gabrielle Clark, Jacob Clark, Soraya Clark, Chelsea Davis, Isabella Davis, Dion Dunstan, Janaya Ford, Lamaya Jallo, Jakari Key, Mercellus McKnight, Gabriella Walker, Isaiah Walker, Wangari Watts, Malachi Worthen. Great job to all of our achievers. We are so proud of you. The First Baptist Church Highland Park Wellness Ministry is hosting a CPR first aid training class on Saturday, April 6th, starting at 10 o'clock in Banquet Hall B. You are asked to arrive at 9.45 a.m. La, 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 la. If you are interested in singing in the Easter Sunday Choir, on March 31st, during the 7.30 and 10.45 a.m. morning services, please take note of the rehearsal schedule. Meet us in the choir room Tuesday, March 26th at 6.30 p.m. and Thursday, March 28th, 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Attire, Faith Strong Apparel. Don't have any? Don't worry. You can get your Faith Strong gear in our Holland Park bookstore. Seven last sayings of our Savior from the cross. Join us on Friday, March 29 at 11.30 a.m. for in-person and live stream worship. Worship begins at 11.45 a.m. Our guest preachers are Bishop Anthony Macklin from the Sanctuary at Kingdom Square, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. The Reverend Dr. Dwayne T. K. of the First Baptist Church, Inc., North Brentwood, North Brentwood, Maryland. Dr. Kim Lee King of the Israel Total Life Ministries, Waldorf, Maryland. Reverend Matthew Watley from Kingdom Fellowship Amy Church, Calverton, Maryland. Reverend Patrick J. Walker, pastor of the New Macedonia Baptist Church, Washington, D.C. Bishop LaVon Hughes, Sr. from the Faith Temple No. 2 in Capitol Heights, Maryland. The Reverend Tony Lee of the Community of Hope Amy Church, Temple Hills, Maryland. Don't miss a powerful experience. The seven last words of Christ from the cross. We'll see you there. And that wraps up this week's Hell from the Hill. Did you miss anything? No worries. You can find all that more on our website at www.fbhp.org on Facebook, Instagram, and X. This week's announcements are brought to you by the, the Connections, Connections team. And just, just in case you forgot, it's, it's not your average church bulletin. Have a blessed day.
I want to thank you for your generosity in our time of giving. Certainly greatly appreciate each of you. Also want to appreciate our women who joined our morning glory prayer on yesterday. And again, we thank God for the prayer on Friday morning. And every morning this week at 6.30, we'll rise in prayer. You can catch us on our Friday uh, line, and you can certainly feel free to do that. Call our office if you need any instructions in terms of how you can connect with us through prayer. And each morning, participants in our Good Friday will be leading us in prayer. And then, of course, we'll have a wonderful time of celebration on this upcoming Friday and even into next weekend, Saturday Night Life at 630. That was when we started having Saturday services. We started testing it on Easter weekend because some of our regular Sunday worshipers wanted to avoid crowds and they wanted to have another alternative. And so we welcome you to join us on Saturday night as well. Our tomorrow, our Elevation Career Network is virtual at 6 o'clock. Shift your passion into purpose. Marcus Ford, community advocate, academic advisor, will be leading. And then we will meet in the chapel at 7 o'clock, our men's weekly Bible study. And you brothers, you can pick up your book, My Bible, My Manhood. Uh, uh, hopefully you'll have some left. One sister brought, bought 12 books this morning. She said, I'm buying 12 books for every male in my family. Amen. And so, so I don't know what's going to be left, but if there are some left, my Bible, my manhood. Last week, we went over 100 brothers in the chapel. Amen. One hour, brothers. That's all I want from you. 30 minutes, we stream. The next 30 minutes, we keep it all in-house. And we have some rich stories and sharing. And so, brothers, come on. We're trying to grow each other as we grow closer to the Lord. If you're celebrating an anniversary and you're in worship, we want to salute you. Your anniversary is this weekend or this week. Won't you stand so that we can acknowledge you? Any, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, when? But you were in Africa, so, but you're here today, so you're going to celebrate. The South, 41 years? And 31 years in this church. Reverend Joe Washington, stand up. They said you, you helped to keep their marriage together. Amen. Stand up, Reverend Washington. He said, not just him, but the Lord. I know the address right, Jerry. Jerry, you got all the right language. Amen. So, amen. Yeah, he, you, you, whoever's trained him. Amen. Whoever. But again, anybody else celebrating an anniversary? Anybody else? We certainly are grateful for that. And let's celebrate all, a new, new, uh, all of our harvest of souls today. Beautiful. Where? Oh, the Flores. I'm sorry. The Flores. I'm, what y'all celebrating and how long? Friday? How many years? 64 years. 64. That's big. Our, they, they are prayer warriors. My God, 64 years. You're special. Amen. Thank you for yelling that out. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. And we thank God. 64 years. Doesn't look like y'all much older than that, but, you know, but, wow. It pays to serve Jesus. Our March birthday ministry is in the house. Stand up, March birthday ministry. Stand up, March. Stand up, March. And everybody born in March, y'all stand up. Everybody born in March. Mar look, come on, let's celebrate all of March. All of March. Beautiful. You can go back to your seat. Some of y'all are going to have to stand back up again. That's okay. 
uh, if your birthday is today, stand back up. Stand if your birthday is today. Today, I'm, I hadn't get to yesterday yet, but but since you today, seventy eight today, they shouting you out. Happy birthday, happy seventy eighth birthday, Amen. Anybody else today? Anybody who who? Brown. Oh, Brown! Your birthday's today. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! One of our one of our walking deacons. And I, Sister Brown, did you clap? Okay, I want to make sure you clap. Amen. And if your birthday was yesterday, stand up. If your birthday was yesterday, but you were in church today. To yesterday, coach. Happy birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. How about if your birthday's tomorrow? Tomorrow. Come on up here, man. This is first time. Come on, man. You still come on up here. We still going to give you something, even if it is your first time. Amen. Even if it is your first time. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. His first time, but he, see, you keep on coming to church, man. You don't know what you're going to get on your birthday. Eh? Happy birthday. How old are you turning them all? Turn nine. Man, you look like you can be a linebacker. Don't hurt anybody, man. Proud of you. Come on, you're looking good. You're looking good. You're on your way to the top. You're on your way to the top. Look at him. Look like he's already doing push-ups. He could be nine them all. Amen. He's ready. He's ready, boy. He's ready. Amen. If your birthday's this week, stand up. If your birthday's this week, this week is your birthday week, won't you? Bossy Coon. Happy, happy birthday. Marion, I see you. All right. Who else? All right. All right. Happy birthday. Dan, you, that's one of our brothers, man. Happy birthday to you this week. We have a, one of our members is turning 99 this week. Amen. Carolyn McNeil turns 99 this week. And so certainly we thank God for that and thank God for each of you. Thank our singers for blessing us, our band, trustees, deacons, ministers, ushers, our ambassadors. Our ambassadors will be handing out palms. Ambassadors, are you ready? Our ambassadors will be handing out our palms. That's another word I heard in New York last week. I said, y'all got, don't have ushers, you got ambassadors. They have ambassadors. Amen. So our ambassadors are handing out palms, and so you can get them, and we thank God for that. Uh, our, all of our greeters who greet people at the door, upstairs, downstairs, our, our wellness team, thank you. Um, who else? Yep. Who? Dancers. All right, dancers, yes. Deacon Smith said, all first timers, you need to know that Friday will be on fire. Don't, don't, yeah, get here early and get your seat and it's, it's going to be, and, and I got so much to share with y'all, but I can't share it all. Some of it I can't even share with you. I can't share with you. You just got to come to church on, on Friday. That's all. I, that's, uh, I've been, yeah, you just got to come. Amen. If you come, you get your blessing. Amen. If you don't come, you'll hear about it. Amen. But you just come. So we certainly thank God for each of you and certainly can thank God for, I'm glad to see all these children. Now next week, some of us are dressing down. You, you don't have to. You don't have to. Some of us are because as I said in the message, our faith has to be inside. And I'm wearing, we're wearing some of us are wearing faith strong white and we're going to be doing that. But however, don't stay home. Because you know the devil is always looking for an excuse. Don't stay home. Come to church. You know, you don't have to, whatever, just come to church. But some of us are going to be in faith strong next week. And so we thank him. Let's stand, everybody. We ready to go. We ready to go. Amen. Amen. So, Jerry, you got that outfit in Africa? That's nice. I can tell it's got an African flair. And you got something to match with your wife, too. That's that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's real cool. Amen. 
So thank you, everybody, for being in worship. See, I know y'all going to be in church next week. I know you're going to be in church next week, right? Y'all didn't say anything. Yeah, pastor, yeah, we're going to be here. All right. Dear God, we love you. We adore you. We magnify your name. Bless us as we leave this place, but never your presence. And may your grace, your mercy, and your peace go with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, everybody.